Next, notice that we've shown a dog contaminating this already unsanitary alleyway. Yep, that's right. He's pooping right into the sewer. This is to help you remember that Yersinia enterocolitica is transmitted through pet feces. Now you can see that we've also shown a guy writing on a notepad with a very large feather pen. This guy, along with the girl, are likely employed by the city to count the infected people and provide supplies to those in need. So the guy is carefully taking notes of each infected person. Anyway, pen sounds like appendicitis, so we've shown him holding a huge feather pen to help you remember that Yersinia enterocolitica causes pseudo-appendicitis. We've also shown him writing on the notepad to help you remember that this bug causes writer syndrome. So writing for writer syndrome. As you can see, the city is in need of a lot of help. Just as the city workers started to pass by, this guy bolted outside from the door with a do not enter sign on it to vomit all over the street. After all, he didn't want to make a huge mess inside of his house. Anyway, this guy is here to help you remember that Yersinia enterocolitica causes vomiting and diarrhea. Finally, notice that we've shown a flower staff against the wall. Just like in our other videos, the flower staff is here to help you remember that Yersinia pestis and Yersinia enterocolitica can be treated with fluoroquinolones. It's not in close proximity to the yerba mate or the do not enter sign because we wanted you to remember that it can be useful for both organisms.